Hello and welcome to the RTS Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode, we'll work with perk tree, so let's create new perk. I wanna create perk that will make my workers twice more efficient when they gather wood. To create new perk, go to the perk subsystem slash blueprints slash perks and create new child of the perk ability blueprint. Here you can see the same settings as in the familiar to us enhancement ability blueprint. You can add different enhancements here and I will add predefined chain chopping come out enhancement. We also should specify custom constant because chain chopping come out enhancement uses it as a multiplier. So open custom constants data table, add new row and then specify custom constants ID in your perk blueprint. Don't forget to specify an ID for the perk itself. After that open abilities data table and add new row for the new perk. Specify class, name, description and cost. Note that now you can set new cost, streaming cost. Streaming resources like science tick every second and grants you certain amount of resource. So if I set 15 science as a streaming cost, I will learn this perk in 15 seconds if I have 1 science, in 5 seconds if I have 3 science and so on. You can set cast time if you are not going to use streaming resources. And also you should set streaming perk process as enhancement process in your perk blueprint if you will use streaming resources. Now let's set requirements for our new perk. Go to the perk subsystem slash data, open perks requirements data table and add new row for the new perk. Here you can set perks which should be learned before we can learn our new perk. This data table also defines links in a perk tree. Finally, open perk subsystem slash widgets slash w underscore perk tree and add new perk slot to the perks grid panel. Set an ID and specify slot location. Links will be generated automatically. You can also use reverse connector angle setting. That's it, our new perk is ready, but if we launch the game, we can see these links artifacts. It happened because our tree is too big. So we can just drop scroll box with another scroll box and it will fix the problem. Now let's test it. As you can see, we are not able to learn new perk, we should learn required perk firstly. Our new perk works well. Now I want to show you how to enable new features from the RTS Toolkit update. To enable Smart Squads, you should open RTS Player Controller and check Enable Smart Squads property. To enable Building Memorize Technique, you should open any building blueprint and check Enable Memorize Technique property. And finally, to enable Smart Obstacles Transparency, you should open your base player character blueprint, add obstacle transparency component and set camera on the begin play. Now you can add as many meshes as you want. But every static mesh actor must be movable and have complex collision configured. You can control transparency material. It is located in RTS Core BP folder. You can open M underscore simple transparent and change opacity or color. Thanks for watching and see you next time.